The Humboldt County-based Timber Heritage Association has been working for more than 10 years with a core of incredibly dedicated volunteers to create what they intend to be a world-class museum featuring Humboldt County's rail and timber history. And one of the board members has offered to give us a behind-the-scenes tour of all the work they've done thus far. And that's exactly what we're going to do today right here on Humboldt Outdoors. Joseph, thank you so much for meeting me out here and giving us this wonderful tour. So, can you start off by telling me about this? Like, I see all these passenger trains out here. What's that about? We have a collection of passenger cars dating from 1916 all the way to the mid-1960s. And you have so many of them out here. Are you actually working on rehabilitating those? Yeah, we're, we have a lot of work on going all around the shop on a ton of projects. Uh, the passenger cars are just one of them. And then the other thing is I notice these old buildings. First off, this one we're standing in front of, what is this building here? This is an 1893 roundhouse. It was built by the John Vance Mill and Lumber Company. Uh -huh. And it is where the railroad for Samoa was housed. This is the site of the old Hammond Lumber Company mill. Yeah. So they had repair shops, blacksmith shops, all sorts of buildings back there. Yeah. And we're very lucky that we still have a few today. I noticed a big Navy ship out there. Yeah, that ship is the 1091. It's a World War II vessel, and there's a group that's actually trying to preserve it and convert it into a museum as well. What is the goal of the Timber Heritage Association with this site? Well, we're going to use this 1890s roundhouse and mill site to build a Timber Heritage Museum, and we'd like to demonstrate all these old tools and keep the history alive. And at the same time, we want to fix up these old trains and get them operating to Eureka and back. During our speeder season, we're already open a few times a year, but eventually this place is going to be open five days a week and you'll be able to come in and explore the history whenever you want. Well, Joseph, where are we going to begin the tour? Let's begin with the roundhouse. Great, I'll follow you. This is the roundhouse, Ray. Why is it called the roundhouse? Well, um, essentially, uh, it's an engine house, and unlike a lot of engine houses, this one is a semicircle, and it's one of the last two remaining wooden roundhouses on the west coast of the United States. Man, right here. Yeah. Um, it was built in December of 1893 for the John Vance Mill and Lumber Company. Mm -hmm. It was one of the largest redwood mills in the Humboldt Bay area. The logging railroad would s basically house all their engines here, and perform servicing and maintenance and do all sorts of fix-ups. And so if you were here back in 1912, it would be loud mm -hmm. and there'd be trains coming through with logs and empties coming out and it would just be really busy. This place would shelter everything, keep it safe from the elements. So now the Timber Heritage Association, you did a lot of work to fix this place up. Yeah, a um, bunch of dedicated volunteers, in fact they're out there right now, have been fixing up the place since about 2008. It had no roof, bad paint, toxic stuff everywhere, and they've been slowly cleaning it up ever since. This is Pacific Lumber Company, number 29. Uh -huh. It was built by the Baldwin Locomotive Works in 1910 in Philadelphia and then it ran logging trains for the Pacific Lumber Company. You want to go inside the engine, Ray? Yeah, let's go. I'd love to see it. Oh, wow, Joseph. This is pretty amazing. All these valves and dials and levers. Yeah, there was a crew of two that would sit in here and they would control everything about the steam boiler and the, in the train. It must have been really noisy in here, huh? Yes, it was noisy and it was hot. I bet this is where they used to feed the wood in 
could feel the fire when this used to be a steam boiler. Yeah, back before it was fuel oil, they would just open this up and throw the wood in, like a regular old fireplace. And this must be where they were able to peek in and see the fire burning in there. Wow. Hey, uh, what do you say we go check out some more of those locomotives? Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> this is the Murphy Diesel. Um, it started its life as a Heisler steam locomotive. And so now it's this weird, wacky locomotive that looks like a steam engine almost, but it has a big diesel right inside of it. All right, I'm gonna give you a little bit to poke around. The roundhouse is just one part of the Timber Heritage Museum and there's a lot to see. So have a look around and I'll meet you in the boiler shop. Okay, I'll see you there, Joseph, thanks. All right. This is the boiler shop. Back in the railroad days when Hammond was operating this area as a railroad and mill site, they would drive the train straight through the roundhouse and into this building. And here we do a lot of restoration and repair work. Where do you get the tools to do all your work? A lot of the tools have been donated over the years. Um, mm -hmm. Some of them are antiques and came from the Redwood companies or Corbell or various historic sites around the county. Your volunteers are doing essentially the same type of mechanic work that was done a hundred years ago on these old trains. Yeah, the Timber Heritage Museum is a living history museum. So we're trying to preserve the techniques and methods used back then uh, for the next generation. This is like a, a throwback in time being out here. Let's go check out some of the stuff we have outside. All right, let's do it. All right, Ray, I have one more thing to show you. So head on inside. Oh, gosh. All right. Just go through this door right here. Yep. All right. Wow, Joseph. This is like going back in time. Look at this place. What, what was this? This is a 1916 executive car, and we're working on restoring it so we can hopefully run it on the excursion train. Great. Um, I'd like to show you more. There's a dining car just down the hall. Yeah, let's go. Wow, look at this place. This is a 1916 dining car. Wow, can we sit down and like, see yeah. what it was like to dine back in 1916? Man, this looks so elegant. Why is Timber Heritage Association restoring this old passenger cars? Well, we'd like to do an excursion train around Humboldt Bay. Hmm. And we'd love to serve dinner on the train, and this is a good car for that. How did Timber Heritage come about acquiring these passenger cars. Yeah, this this one was going to get either cut up or thrown into the river. Wow, so it was saved and Timber Heritage is restoring it. Yeah, yeah. we're working on it. It's a long process. I'd love to show you the parlor car. I have a lot more to show you. Yeah, let's go see it. Oh, this is fantastic. Thank you so much for showing me this. <laughs> Thank you. 
is elegant. You said this was the parlor car? Yeah, it's a 1916 72 seat Pullman passenger car, and it was a first class car when it was built. This is a whole lot different than, than trains nowadays. Yeah, uh, a lot more elegant, and back then there was formal dress requirements. People had to dress. Uh, <laughs> really? Yes. Ooh, you and I probably wouldn't pass muster, I imagine. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> I noticed there's a, a typewriter in here, so I guess they could do some work while they were in here. Yeah, uh, this had common spaces for folks to store their belongings and do work if they needed to. Let's go check out the game table in the other room. The game table? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. This just gets more and more interesting as we go. And then here's the game table. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's like this would have been a lot of fun back in the day, you know, riding in these trains. What's really impressed me, I've seen the volunteers out here working, and they're working hard. And so these are people who are really dedicated to preserving this local history. Yeah, we're working on that. Yeah. Um, we always are looking for volunteers and donors to help with that. Uh, our speeder rides right now are our main source of donations and that helps support the buildings and the train cars and that's a lot of stuff. Uh, how does someone become a member of Timber Heritage Association? Go to our website timberheritage.org and become a member there. Uh, THA is a 100% volunteer organization so all the donations cover everything here. Uh -huh. uh, the, the building restoration, the car restoration, everything. You have a lot of work to do out here still, huh? Yeah, um, it's a long time coming and it still has a lot of work to go. Uh, that is the goal. The Timber Heritage Museum is working to preserve Humboldt's industrial logging history. Well, Joseph, I had had a great time. Thank you so much for showing me around. You know, I got to say, up until three weeks ago, I didn't even know this place existed. It's funny because that's what everyone says. They yeah. always come out here and they're like, yeah. I didn't even know there was like trains out here. Okay, there's one more thing I want to do. I want to take the camera and do just a quick walk through through all the cars we visited in reverse. Okay. And then uh, I'll meet you on the other end. All right. Thanks again, right. Joseph. Mm -hmm.